Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Groundhog's Garage. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me. We are getting ready to do a little bit more work on the Grand Am. I am going to take the faceplate off and work a little bit more on the hood. And I've got some metal prep. I got some rust dissolver and a couple other chemicals. So we'll uh, we'll get started on the faceplate maybe put a little bit of uh, paint remover on the fenders and a little bit more around the sides of the uh, the hood scoops and see how we do all right stick around so to keep track of all this trim stuff i've been taping on the little trim screws when i can and uh, i've got most of the stuff stored in a box in the house probably don't have to take this off to get the faceplate off, but I will need these off when I go to put the grill back on. stuff all the way around this thing. Um, I'm going to pretty much take everything out except for this center bolt to hold it up so it doesn't bop me in the head. And there's also some what looks like plastic tabs that uh, are probably for holding the grill on while you would put it all together. I believe I got some of these with the uh, with the front nose piece. Half inch, and my guess is I'm going to be able to take out every single bolt in this entire piece with this one socket. Unlike working on the Tahoes, where it seems like you need three or four different sizes to do the same thing. No talking for a while because this thing is loud, and I'm going to have the air compressor on. So. I'm going to put a little soothing music on for you to listen to, and you can sit back and watch the show. And if you're keeping track, there's two different sizes. The longer ones will go where the fiberglass is actually part of the, the uh, attachment. The smaller ones are just strictly for the sheet metal. and close the perimeter bolts are pretty uh, evident but there's a couple hidden ones I shouldn't call them hidden but just so you're aware of them there's one right here goes in the center post and then there's go underneath here this is the left side there's one right here and then on the driver's side there's another one right up in here and they're not hard to get to they're much easier with a 
air wrench or something like that, but um, you can certainly get that with your ratchet. So there's just one more bolt. So there's just one more bolt to take out. And I gotta unplug the headlights and this whole thing should come off. That car's a 74, so I don't know if you have to do this on the 73s or not, but on the 74s, and I may have mentioned this before, you have to grind these ribs out. The, uh, the nose piece, the fiberglass piece, is solid here, whereas the Enduro nose that was original was uh, kind of surrounded this, and I, this probably gave it some more strength. And I may have, I'm not sure, but from the comments, I may have caused some confusion. I don't have an Enduro nose. Mine's a fiberglass reproduction. So, it's really nice. And just mocking it up, just holding it up there, it looks like it fits pretty good. So, I am so excited to get this thing painted and on there. So, I'm good with this. I've got the nose piece off. I'm just going to do a little bit more paint removal uh, around the hood scoops. And I'm going to start on the fenders a little bit. And I got some slightly more aggressive sandpaper just for this one area because it's probably the worst area on the hood. And then I'm going to spray it with some uh, rust kill from... I got a couple things actually. Rust-Oleum and something from Summit Racing. So, just going to hit this one little area here. And that will go from there. give you a closer look here at the front of my fenders. And let's see, is my flashlight still on here? Let's see if I give you an indirect light here. Can you see that? It still looks like brand new metal in almost all of it. There's a little bit of scaly rust there, but really, it looks a couple months old maybe. I'm excited. The other side's the same way. Okay, we made great progress today. We've got the uh, nose piece off, the, the backing plate, and I've got the, uh, the paint, the rest of the paint, or most of it off the hood now. Um, I'm gonna treat a little bit with some uh, chemical uh, rust remover tomorrow. This is where I'm ending the video. We've made some great progress today. I've got that face plate off. Um, I can prep the grill now. Uh, I've got the paint off around the vents. Got the paint off the front of the fenders. I may take it all the way back to the door now. That went so nice. And uh, things are moving along. So stay in touch. Check in the next day or two. I'll have another update. And uh, I'm getting excited. I'm thinking uh, maybe this weekend we can get some paint on this thing. That would be fantastic because then putting it back together will be a snap. So uh, stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to see what's going on and uh, hope to see you again.